Understanding, Finding Contentment, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating English phrase, find contentment. This phrase is not just about understanding the words, but also about grasping the cultural and emotional nuances behind them. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what this phrase means but also how to use it in your conversations. Let's start by breaking down the phrase, find contentment. The word, find, in English often means to discover or come upon something, either by search or by chance. Contentment, on the other hand, is a state of happiness and satisfaction. So, when combined, these words suggest a journey or a process of achieving a state of happiness and satisfaction. Contentment is a deeper, more enduring form of happiness. It's not just about experiencing joy in the moment, but a lasting sense of being at peace with where you are in life. This is an important distinction because contentment is more about a state of mind than about external circumstances. In many English-speaking cultures, finding contentment is often associated with personal growth, inner peace, and a balanced life. It's commonly used in both casual and formal conversations. For example, someone might say, after years of hard work, I've finally found contentment in my career. It's helpful to compare find contentment with similar phrases like find happiness, or find peace. While all these phrases involve a search for a positive emotional state, contentment specifically implies a more settled, peaceful form of happiness that is not easily disturbed by external factors. Let's look at some examples. 1. After retiring, my grandfather found contentment in gardening and spending time with family. Two. Many people find contentment not through material possessions, but through relationships and experiences. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, find contentment, and how it's used in English. Remember, language learning is not just about words, but also about the ideas and emotions they convey. Keep practicing, and soon you'll find contentment in your English language journey. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.